Uh, Gareth, the uh, the long run uh, without a win is over and in emphatic style. Yeah, i um, really pleased, you know. It's Mardi Gras, isn't it? So it's a present for Rob and Pete, that, you know, uh, and, and Missy over in New Orleans. I'm sure they, uh, they're celebrating today. And uh, so I think I had to win today. Um, but no, joking aside, I thought the boys were superb. You know, I really did. Uh, we had one scare there where Sam Vox has cleared it off the line. Apart from that, I thought we, uh, we looked dangerous a lot. Uh, We've been working on one or two things, as people will probably see tonight, and uh, I'm proud of the boys, uh, the bravery they showed at times on the ball. Um, and they're good players. They're very good players when they can put it together like that. Having Ryan back was a big bonus, you know. He's struggled with his groin, um, but he's back now, and I thought he was imperious in defence and, uh, and brought Anthony along with him. Um, yeah, one or two changes. Anis has uh, has come up with the goods really well, but Gareth McLear I think was uh, was outstanding, back to his best. Uh, just uh, just all round, you know, the eleven. You know, um, we had a meeting yesterday, and uh, you know, Daz stood up in the meeting and, and and just said to the boys, you know, this is just a bad run we're on. The, the performances have been there, and, and I agree with him. And it's really easy to look at the. Uh, the seven game unbeaten, uh, um, losing run, sorry, not losing, but not winning run, and and go right seven without a win. But if you look really in depth into it, two, maybe we didn't deserve to win. The rest of them, we're really fighting in there and, and 60 odd chances in two games. And, you know, we, we are a good side. Um, and sometimes, you know, you, you've got very short memories and, the saying is you're only as good as your last game. I think that's an absolute load of rubbish. You're only as good as your next game is what I want to say. And, uh, and we're going to stick to that. So we won't be resting on this. We've got crew on Saturday. That's our next game. We've got to be good for that one. Um, judges after 46, as they always say. But we're writing it amongst the teams like Sheffield Wednesday who've, who've come into it now. Oxford, Portsmouth are coming now. You know, there's been some crazy results tonight. Uh, but a 3-0 win at home was just what we needed. And uh, thank you, boys. You've delivered for me. Um, I had faith. Uh, and I'd like to say that, you know, our owners have had faith with me. They've been nothing but supportive through this this little run. Um, but to get the W back on the uh, on the forum guide is, uh, is a big moment for us. And uh, we want to go and back this up now and get another one on Saturday. Three goals, three points. And I'm guessing the next thing on the list was the clean sheet after a run of games where we've let a lot of goals in. Yeah, listen, we... we we have been uh, we have been sloppy at set pieces, you know, and, and I've said that, you know, the last six goals, I think five of them have been set plays. So we have to get better at that. Um, I brought the boys in this afternoon for training to, to work on set pieces. And I don't usually do that on a game day, but sometimes as a manager, you've got to you've got to make them go through the hard yards, you know, and, and get them in and say, right, we haven't been good enough for this. We're working on this. Yesterday, we obviously worked on a little bit of a different method of going forward as well. Um, I think there's a transition today. I think it's a, it's a moment where you look at that team and think, you know what? For the last six, seven, eight years, we've been total underdogs with absolutely nothing. We've got some good players in this side now and we need to play to those players' strengths at times. Um, still we've got the way we do things the energy the the pressing the you know the the absolute sort of physical side that we we pride ourselves on so much but there's touches of quality now real quality that you can see in the games and uh and i think tonight was a, a real good turning point for us this season Hogan mametti mccleary playing off sam vokes i mean that, that should get home fans purring here listen there's uh there's three internationals in that and there's one probably international when he starts playing for Albania. So, uh, you know, you can't you can't dismiss the attacking flair that those boys have got with Lewis winging behind, who I thought was, again, his best performance for us so far, you know. Um, I think we're, we're growing as a team and, and Dave back in the goal, he, you know, he looked superb, he looked confident and the way he, he, uh, he gave that ball out and distributed that ball tonight was, was super. So, yeah, I'm really pleased with the result but it's it's only one game you know i'm 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 not going to get carried away um it's only one win in seven now so but it's one win in one for me and uh, and i'll take that 
And those three players I've just mentioned, Saleh Kaikai has been on really good form of late. Um, and I guess the message was that if you're going to start, you've got to, you've got to keep your place by, by giving me the performance. Yeah, big calls, you know, Saleh coming out and, and Brandon, who's been in great form as well. We score goals. We know we can score. We've done it all season. It was keeping them out that was important. Uh, I went to a four tonight, you know, I'm not, you know, we got to the top of the league with a three at the back um, in, in, at the end of January. Um, but we look solid as that four today and, uh, and I was pleased. We've got different ways of playing. Scouts can come and watch us and, and try and work out what we're going to do. And I said to the boys, being unpredictable is a real big strength. Um, and we're certainly that at the moment. It was a real good Wiccan performance tonight. And uh, I might have to have a beer with Pete for Mardi Gras. Crew up next, they're bottom of the table, but I know what you're going to say. League One is a tough division and anyone can beat anyone. Anyone can beat anyone, you know. They've, they've, they've just won on Saturday, you know, so I know David Artel was here tonight watching us. Um, great guy. Uh, we're away from home, you know, and uh, and they gave us a scare early on in the season here. Last minute winner from Ryan Tafazola. So we're, we're not taking anything for granted. You know, after that, we got Rotherham and, and Fleetwood and Portsmouth coming up. No game will be easy now, but I know we're right in the mix. Um, I believe that if there is a right time to drop out of the playoffs, we managed it. All I've said now is let's find the right time to get back in them and that'll be uh, after 46 games.